Well, hey everybody. Today I'm doing the uh, um, right uh, side of the back axle <coughs> on my MVP. Here's the front tire that I had off yesterday. And uh, this is a swapped rim. Uh, I had this is the eight and a quarter rim that I painted. Now this one I did paint. I mean I painted all of them, but this is one that I got, you know. So this is the finished product of it. So I really like the finish, the color, the way they're turning out, because it looks nice and you know stock or whatever. So I like that. So like I said, I got the rear wheels off, and so this is the outer wheel, and this rim is also a seven and a half inch wide rim, and. Uh, so I, I couldn't figure out what the inner duel was. So yeah, for I show you the inner duel, here's the studs. Here's the studs and the uh or the inner studs and the uh lug nuts. Ten of each. So they didn't come off too bad. That that one inch impact's working real good for me. So what I'm gonna do anyway is uh since I got it off, I'm gonna paint this uh the hub. I'm not gonna paint the the brake drum rim. I'll try not to get paint on the studs, but I'm gonna paint the uh, outer hub there, so it'll look nice and clean. So let me go show you the wheel I had to clean up. So that's that's the outer duel. It's a seven and a half inch rim. So here's my air tank. So here's the rim I was working on, and uh, this rim was so nasty, like with grease and dirt and crap. Um, I had to take uh, my drill. Oh, I had to take my drill with the wire brush and uh, clean it off to find out what size it was because I couldn't find it. And uh, it's uh, I tried. Sometimes they're printed on the uh, the top of the where the the uh, top of the rim part there where the lugs go, but it wasn't stamped on there. So uh, luckily, I found it pretty quick though after I. Uh, wire brush the, the rim because it's so nasty with rust and grease and crap so it's an Accuride rim that's the last part of Accuride you can see it Accuride 22 and a half by 7 and a half so that's what I feared see they're all it's so funny because probably all the ones on the back and uh, the uh, right front were uh, 7 and a half but that one on the left front there on the driver's side was the only 8 and a quarter rim on there it's so funny I don't get it but the bus was spec for 8 and a quarter rims so I want those on there and the eight and a quarter rims look better anyway they give it they give the tires a better stance than squeezing them you know a narrow rim a narrow rim squeezes the tires you know too uh, um, too tight and it kind of bows them out a little bit and that's also why it was kind of leaning a little bit because uh, it had two size different size rims on or two two different widths so it's more it's, of course it's jacked up on the back but it's more uh level now than it was so that looks a lot better so um so hopefully i'm trying to get this done so um i got to go to the tire place and get them two swapped again so and here's the old rim that i got swapped yesterday it come off the right front so there's the old rim and uh i don't have any use for these so i might keep them i might not i might sell them so anyway, there you go. There's your video. So uh, hopefully I can get this done here in the next couple of days or so. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.